Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this story comes from Scarborough in North Yorkshire. This story highlights the dangers of drugs and the peer pressure that becomes involved when you're trying to show off to people. Five people have been jailed for the murder of Solomon Robinson. This happened back in October 2019 and they've only just been convicted now, mainly due to delays related to coronavirus. They said the gang must serve a minimum of 100 years in total and this breaks down to a 15 year minimum and some of them have a 23 year minimum. At 2am in the morning on Sunday the 20th of October 2019, Stefan Salvage, Dawid Garau, Callan Brass, Kieran Watkinson and Stephen Lowe stabbed Solomon Richardson in a joint attack on St Nicholas Street in Scarborough. Mr Robinson was rushed to hospital and died three hours later from a single stab wound that nearly went through his entire body. They they said the injuries were unsurvivable. Within hours, North Yorkshire police had made several arrests, and within a matter of hours, five were charged with his murder. Salvage from Colescliff Road admitted murder before the trial, and on Friday, the 19th of February, he was jailed for life to serve a minimum of 15 years. He was given less time because he was the only one that went guilty. The other four denied murder and following a four week trial at Leeds Crown Court, they were found guilty on the 5th of February and also handed life sentences. And I've never seen so much evidence for a case in relation to CCTV evidence and also self-incriminating evidence because people seem to forget that stuff you do beforehand will always be referenced later on. There is a lot of Snapchat footage. People feel very comfortable in releasing information. Before the murder, all five of them were seen at a party, taking drugs and also counting cash and posting it online. They would later go on to murder Solomon wearing the same clothes that they'd posted to Snapchat in. And this footage was shown in court. In relation to the CCTV, it shows the gang making their way through town and also preparing to attack Solomon. It was revealed in the court trial, but they don't mention it in the newspapers following this conviction, is that they had pre-planned to rob Solomon. Somebody that was with Solomon on the evening was actually friends with the killers. They were on the phone to the killers minutes before they met Solomon, but they don't specifically say what it was that was trying to rob from him except in one text message where one of the convicted said to a girl that there was out on a move and it was going to be a lot of cash the cctv footage picked up every single second of the incident this happened outside a town hall in the town center where they have cctv operators they watched the whole attack unfold and the cctv operators notified the police of the attack Detective Superintendent Fran Norton, Senior Investigating Officer of the investigation, said this was a premeditated attack and our thoughts remain with Mr Robinson's family. The group fled the scene and their actions were cowardly and cold. They were proven to be the dangerous individuals after we confirmed with their clothing from social media. They also thanked the council's CCTV operators who alerted them to people carrying knives in the city centre during that day. And members of the public came forward to help Mr Robinson and try to save his life in that time. The court said the Snapchat footage captured just hours before the fatal stabbing shows them partying with drugs and large amounts of money. <laughs> So. 
CCTV was shown that captured the group walking through town together and arriving to the area where Mr. Robinson was stabbed. Further shots showed them fighting with Mr. Robinson in the area surrounding the town hall. He was taken to hospital with an 11 inch stab wound to his lower back. A victim impact statement read by his mother in court said that Solomon's death has destroyed our family and crushed our souls and I doubt the family will ever be the same. Stefan Salvage was jailed for life for a minimum of 15 years. Watkinson was jailed for life with a minimum of 18 years. Brass from Eastborough was jailed for life to serve a minimum of 21 years. Goral of Durham Street was jailed for life to serve a minimum of 21 years. And Lowe of Long Westgate was sentenced to life to serve a minimum of 23 years. And 460 days has been knocked off due to the time served on remand. This is a really sad story and it definitely shows that when you're getting high with your friends and also trying to show off, a lot of young people nowadays feel the need to fit in, but don't forget that everything you do can be used against you later on in life. This is what character is in court and this is why it's so important. So many people get lesser sentences due to having a good character. But when you're under the influence of drugs, you have to remember that you are not thinking in the right state of mind. So I'd really want to hear what people have to say on this story. Please pay respects to Solomon in the comments. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.